This is a South Dakota Department of Transportation video update on the construction progress of the I-90 Exit 14 project at Spearfish, South Dakota for the week of August 15, 2017. I'm Brian Leslie. Well, construction has begun on the very busy intersection at 1st Avenue and North 27th Street as part of the Exit 14 project. And this does mean that the truck detour is in effect as mentioned in previous reports. Due to the tight turning radius at the intersection, as you can now see, vehicles that are more than 20 feet in total length and seven feet wide will be required to take this detour going straight through the intersection north on 27th to meet up with Industrial Boulevard here, and that will take you back down to First Avenue. The detour does not affect cars and does not affect most pickup trucks, only vehicles more than 20 feet in length and seven feet wide. Now the detour route does include gravel which has been graded and watered and maintenance will be done on this road as much as possible during the duration of the detour which should last approximately four weeks and the DOT wants to make sure to remind all motorists to stay on the roadways do not take shortcuts through business parking lots this is very important for safety reasons. Well, elsewhere on 27th Street, paving the east half of the street does continue and is nearly complete. Graveling the new westbound on-ramp at the exit 14 interchange is done, and you'll notice paving work will begin to take place here this week. The contractor will also be working to complete the westbound off-ramp and eastbound on-ramp curb and gutter, and that work is taking place right now. As you can see, decking on the new bridge is in full swing. You'll begin to notice the placement of reinforcing steel later this month. As bridge work is picked up and since the rally is done, I-90 is now reduced once again to single lanes in each direction under the bridge and through the work zone. And it will stay this way through the duration of the project until about mid-November. Well, as you've noticed, Colorado Boulevard is just about complete. Finishing work and cleanup continues. Um, there is going to be some joint sealing on the pavement that will be taking place and then markings, pavement markings will be laid down right after that. Landscaping and then tying in the bike path on Colorado and 27th Street South should also be complete in the near future. There are a few small repairs and other miscellaneous work that does remain and that will be beginning very soon. Well, do be aware of flaggers for the next couple of weeks, particularly at the intersection of 1st and North 27th Street. And as always, slow down through the work zone, observe the posted speed limits, and be aware for construction vehicles moving across the roadway or being parked alongside the roadway. Reports for this project can be found at these following locations as they become available. And a reminder that public meetings are held every Thursday at 2 p.m. at Hudson Hall in downtown Spearfish. Again, the DOT and the prime contractor, thank you for your patience as construction continues. Uh, please be safe out there and thank you for watching.